all right so we are back with another planet zoo but this time it's gonna be franchise mode uh, medium and um, level uh, as you can see we are currently picking out it and getting it all set up uh, right now I'm also trying to get the get it planned out what I where I want things for the most part because really I don't do so much of the planning out phase but um, yeah so we are putting down all the different staff buildings that I need and uh, and then from there I will bring out the path but I'm just trying to figure out which path I want to go with first now please make sure you like and subscribe down below leave a comment let me know what you think let me know what kind of animals you want me to to put on here I pretty much have almost all the DLC packs except for I think there's like one or two of them where I don't have but uh, otherwise I pretty much have all the DLC packs um, so yeah let me know which animal you would like but um, the first animal that we will be putting in here um, if you haven't guessed already considering the fact the name of the zoo is going to be Meerkat Manor um, we will be having meerkats so that is what I am now currently looking up and trying to find a pair that will work <coughs> before setting up their habitat and uh, if anyone knows there there's a, a show called Meerkat Manor with real meerkats that they film um, so this is gonna be like my own little series so to speak uh, for them uh, but it's gonna also involve other animals not just meerkats but they are the first ones in I'm hiring my staff right now uh, because I want to get stuff researched and and uh, and going. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it's just basically um, I wanted to make it so people could see it a little bit easier. But like the lowest that you can get the fence down to is roughly about three point some odd meters. Uh, or no, sorry, uh, three, about three point something feet. So, um, you can't, unfortunately, quite get it so that way uh, it's low enough because the meerkats don't need that high of fencing. So, I decided to dig out some of the land there, and then I would put a fencing around the top down to the very lowest point. Um, but what I might do is go back um, later on once once I uh, have more of a profit and I'll probably use a null barrier and then set up my own barrier around it from the pieces in the um, build kits that we have um, all the different parts and pieces but I'm trying to get around that corner there and eventually what I want to do is like make it a habitat that the guests can actually walk into um, but I think I might would have to I may need to enlarge that and then if so I'm gonna have to add probably other creatures in there so we'll see as the series progress how how I uh, want it or even how you guys want it leave comments down below um, now we do get some babies that does come in on this uh, episode so uh, you know make sure you're um, staying tuned and uh, leave down comments down below what you would like to, to call each of them um, so right now I'm setting up the glass now because I haven't gotten any research done really yet I only have the you know regular two-way glass so um, you know, eventually I'm going to switch that out to one-way uh, glass, um, and then 
um, I am going to do a little bit more of the decoration. You're not going to see too much of the decoration build right now in this episode. Probably within the next episode or two, that's when I'll start doing a little bit more decorating um, and actually adding stuff to the buildings and um, and doing a lot more of that type of a build. I just want to make sure I have the finances first before I take on too much and can't complete the task. Um, so <clears throat> eventually, though, that is what I'm going to do. And I'm hoping within the next episode or two, I should be able to go ahead and do that. Um, by how this episode actually turned out and how well uh, everything worked out, I believe that we should be good to go with decorating some of the buildings. And I'm going to move some of them around too. Th those buildings that I placed down there just now, those ones are going to be there just temporarily. It's just because, you know, I needed you know the food stands and information desk and restrooms for the guests for when they start coming in um, oh and another reason why I did the meerkats is they had a um, a high level of um, of uh, appeal as well as the fact that um, you know with that and the fact that they're small they didn't need a big enough that big of a habitat um, it helped save a little bit of money on that uh, by doing it that way um, and then they have a high appeal too which I found when I was testing out of all the different creatures that I put in there they had one of the higher appeals um, and a lot of people came to see them because come on they are pretty freaking cute so um, uh, there that that's that's basically the reason why I, I picked them first because of the fact that I felt that uh, it was going to give me a better chance of uh, succeeding in this challenge. But uh, if you notice, though, I set up the education and I got the uh, boost in. And eventually what I want to do is I want to get like a rocky type path for them to climb around on and climb up to. And that's where I'll put their food dish at the very top. So then that way, you know, they can walk up there and eat and then people have even a better view of them while they're eating. Now, I attempted to try it a little bit right now, just trying to see how it would look um, at one point. Or did I cut that part out? Either way, I did attempt to try and do that uh, at one point, but uh, uh, I just I didn't like how it was looking at that point. And, um, and I didn't want to use up all my funds, so I decided, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to hold off and wait. Um, uh, there we go. Yeah. I, I was trying to see what, 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 what would, what would work good there first for me to do it. But I was like, nah, you know what? I'm just going to wait. I'm going to hold off. Um, so I just basically wanted to get the bare minimum in there for them. So that way I don't have to worry about protesters coming in or getting a bad review with um, with the uh, inspector so um, and then I noticed oh I don't have lights so um, I started installing some lights around the um, around the zoo um, and some security cameras as well um, <clears throat> so I start sticking those up here at, uh, well, let's see here. I know I did it. Yeah. So it's, a, it's actually after the, <laughs> it's actually after this scene here, but, um, we do get the, we do get to see the baby meerkats here, uh, soon. They are coming. Uh, I promise you that not a lie. Um, but yeah, I was just getting more uh, training there, and I, I hooked up the TV to the to the um, burrow, and so there you go. See, told you, baby ca meerkats. So I need names for those three uh, meerkats. Um, so please, please, but as well as with the uh, the two adults too. Um, and I'm planning on adding uh, two more adults there uh, to prevent some inbreeding. Um, and then let's see here. We also. I want to add in another animal. I haven't come up with one yet. So, um, 
on which one I want to do next. Um, I'm debating right now on which one. Uh, one of them is a, a badger that I'm thinking of. Uh, go Hufflepuff. Now, um, if, if, uh, if you want to see a certain animal being brought in, let me know. Um, I'm not going to be doing any of the uh, cheetahs or lions or anything like that. Uh, until a little later on uh, when I make more money because those are expensive and yeah now here what I'm doing is I'm trying to set up a little area for for the exhibit and I thought I made it so that way one would f it, you know I could actually get like two in there but it didn't actually quite work out so I could only do one so that's what I did there um, <clears throat> And then um, we added those those tortoises in there, um, and I mean, so far I'm I'm liking how it is. Um, I do want to do like a food court as well, and I never did any of the work zones yet, but I'm gonna set those up. Give me some names for the work zones, you know, uh, so it's just not generic entry zone or zone A, zone B, you know, let, let, let's use some names here. Um, any Stargate fans, you know, um, I'm actually uh, trying to do like a Stargate theme park over on Planet Coaster. I'm working on that. Um, but I'll be posting up some things for that as well. But uh, for this, for Planet Zoo though, I am planning on doing a winter arctic a Christmas type zoo uh, which uh, I'll be doing in a sandbox so that one I'm gonna be starting on after let's see here I probably have already started on it by the time this video has been released but uh, uploaded and released but um, but I will be working on that uh, so stay tuned make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell uh, so you're notified whenever uh, I post new content now I'm trying to post new content, um, if possible, one oh, you know an episode a day, you know would be great. Uh, but I know I'm not going to be able to keep up with that, especially with my uh, full-time job. So um, I'm definitely going to be getting at least one a week, if not more. If I can pump out more, I will. But uh, if not. It will definitely be at least one a week. <clears throat> um, I do have other games too, so please, you know, comment down below. Check out uh, my description. I'll, I'll have a list of different games that I have. Um, but uh, yeah, please like, subscribe. Uh, so this year I'm setting up the uh, the bat, uh, the fruit bats right now uh, for their exhibit. Um, got more research done for my mirror cats. I uh, and the completely completed that right there as you can see um, sorry for the speed you know being uh, pushed up there but if I don't um, and I don't really like to cut out too much like I, I want you guys to see pretty much everything that I've done through my gameplay yes it's gonna be sped up quite a bit and if you guys are okay with that great if not I can go ahead and I can actually cut out stuff and then you know only speed up you know a little bit so it's not as fast um, let me know down below your ideas your thoughts what you would like to see uh, how, how the videos because I mean if you like that way I can do it um, but then you know I won't be able to pump out as many videos you know because the editing process does take quite some time now I was trying to for the longest time put a path down right there on the back end so that way I could have the seating uh, done for for the uh, teaching for the education but it kept coming up with invalid that the that it just was not leveled, um, and I, I constantly kept going over there leveling out, leveling out, leveling out. It just was not working. And I think what happened is when I was making the mirror cat uh, bin there, I kind of messed up underneath, and I think that's what kind of did it, so to speak. When I first tried to do it, because uh, I went a little too deep and had to refill it, <clears throat> so. That's the only thing I can think of, and then finally, though, I was just like, you know what? I'm done with it. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna mess around anymore with it. But I, I worked on that. 
I want to say like 20, 30 minutes. I was just like, you know what? No, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, I'll try and come back to that some other time. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can get it to, to work. Um, so, uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I can. If not, hey, that, that's quite all right. What I might be able to do is I, hmm, I could always dig that area out and then rebuild try and rebuild it again or see the only problem is once you put down the barriers like it is a pain to change things around now, as you can see I'm, I'm laying out the security cameras there um, and then I uh, also set up a little bit of lighting I don't have that much lighting yet I still need to get the research done on that so I can get more or different styles of lights I should say um, so in the next episode, I'm, I'm really going to be like pushing for, for researching, and um, I added more staff buildings because uh, I did hire quite a bit more staff, uh, and I'm still in the positive. I'm, I'm not I'm not losing money. I'm not hemorrhaging anything. I'm 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 uh, making money, um, and I'm uh, I've uh, upgraded my my staff too. Um, most of them are at I think level three now. Um, so I am going to get them up to like level five where I can. I just upgraded them again there, as you saw. Um, if you could see it, it, it probably a little faster for you, but, uh, we are coming to the end here very, very soon. Um, so, you know, again, leave your comments down below. Let me know, uh, some, you know, names for the meerkat babies and for the parents. Um, let me know uh, your thoughts on how you're liking it so far, what you would like to see, what kind of animals you want to see. Um, uh, you know, if, if you have any design type ideas as well, let me know down below. You know, any comments uh, are welcome. I, I, I love to hear from you guys. Uh, but again, please like and subscribe. Help me out against with that uh, algorithm. Because uh, so far I got... Uh, about 49% of my viewership are not subscribers, so please, please subscribe and like. Be most appreciative. It would help out so, so much. But um, yeah, here I am uh, putting down the lights, and uh, and then that's pretty much like the last of what I do. But yeah, <laughs> I hope you uh, you enjoyed this gameplay. Uh, this this episode. This is the first episode. Um, of uh, Meerkat Manor uh, Zoo so uh, thank you though for, for joining me on this episode on this journey and um, please again like and subscribe and I'll see you all again next time in reality